Greetings Commanders and welcome. First of all, it has been some time that I made a video about Elite Dangerous. That's purely because I didn't play the game for some time now. I was slowly getting tired of nothing moving in the game, so I decided to stop playing for some time. But today we had a live stream where they talk about uh, the console transfer to PC and also what we can expect in 2022. Let's take a look. Right. Exactly. Okay. okay. Do you want to kick this bit off? And I can. I, I, can I feel like I've in? just done a, a big string of stuff. I'll tee you up. So now that we've got Twitch drops out of the way, um, we're ready to address some of like the big news points that we know you have come, have come here today for. Um, the first of which are console profile transfers. Now, obviously, this has been a big topic since the announcement of consoles cancellation in terms of Odyssey development. We've said before, and we're going to reiterate, reiterate this, that console will continue to exist on Horizons as it always has done. That's not stopping. Um, but understandably, a lot of people have asked for more news on whether or not we're going to offer a full profile transfer to the PC version for people who want to continue with Odyssey and future updates. So here's what we have to say on that. OK, okay so first off, I appreciate, obviously, the, the amount of uh, frustration uh, and nerves it's caused players when we've been uh, looking at this process. I want to stay off the bat. There's a lot to go through here. Or, 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 there'll be a post that goes out directly after this stream, or probably during the stream, actually, um, if Paul's is, got his finger on the button. It um, should be going live around now. -ish. Around now ish. That's that's the Paul will be now hesitating. Like, do I press the button? Ish. <laughs> press it. Well, wait, wait, Paul. Too late, maybe. Who knows? Anyways, so I know appreciate the amount of frustration this has caused. We fed that back, and we're looking into this. I will want to say this off the bat, and I'll probably say this a few times. What the the dev development team are tr trying really hard to do here is saying. Uh, way more comprehensive than what we had in, in the past. So in the past, we could just transfer the, the, your credits over to, a, to an account on PC. What we're trying to do is take across multiple years worth of data across multiple platforms and put it onto, a, uh, onto the PC. Please understand that some of this data is not always held on just our servers. It's held on different platforms. Some of it's held locally in your own PCs. So retrieval of that data is what they've been investigating and trying to get across and trying to, trying to move it. And also the process of doing that. So do we do it via a one-on-one -on -one basis? Do we do an automated system? How does that work? Appreciate it's taken us a long time to work that out. And we're still figuring a few bits out. But I do want to say a lot of stuff is going to be coming across for players who do wish to transfer across from uh, console to PC. Some of the things that will be included in this will be your ships, your suits, your weapons, SRVs, SLFs, ships will include any custom, like sort of unique ships. So the Cobra Mark IV, if you're on, I think it was Xbox exclusive, that will come across. Your core progression will come across. So your inventory, your reputation, your navy ranks, your permits, uh, your codex discoveries, your engineering progress, your guardian tech, bro uh, guardian tech broker progress, your NPC cro crew progress, NPC crew member names and appearances, and all of your cosmetics um, uh, that you've purchased will come across with you um, to the PC. I also want to point out that what, what we, we're, we're attempting to do here, what we're, we're planning to do and deliver, um, is you will also still be able to play your console account after this. So this is very much like a transfer rather than just a straight copy and removing, like transferring, sorry, a copy rather than a transfer. So you'll be able to carry on console as well, as mm -hmm. well as play on PC. If you own Elite Dangerous on consoles, you've purchased Elite Dangerous on console, part of that, uh, this process would include gifting, or not say gifting is wrong, but uh, uh, providing you with access to Horizons on PC right. as We're well. We're not asking players to buy Horizons again. On, Horizons on, on PC. Yeah, so that will also be included yeah. in, in that process. Uh, so that's coming across. Um, I'm trying to think. There's some other stuff in here that I, want, I wanted to get. I wanted to get through. Um, so that's all the stuff that we're currently working on. Um, it's not an entire transfer. Like we can't transfer absolutely everything. And the, and the dev team have really, really tried to get as much as they can do across. Some things they will not be able to get across. Some are maybes, and, that, and we're still trying to iron that out. And I'll come to those in a moment. One thing you're asking for is the next question is going to be when is this going to happen. When we have a date for that, we'll let you know. As Bruce said earlier on, nothing has changed on console at the moment. There's no, all your progress, will, you can continue. We'll give you plenty of heads up as to when this process will take place, what month it's going to happen in, et cetera. It won't just be it's happening tomorrow. You've got 24 hours to do it. There will be a, a very clear process for this. We're going to be testing this, this to make sure it works because there's an awful lot of players that want to transfer across. So it's a huge amount of this. Doing this on this scale is massive. Now, one of the things for transparency, and if, if the dev post is, or dev post, if our post is live now in the forums, you'll see there are some things we can't guarantee will definitely transfer over. And one of the things is the commander name. Now, in all likelihood, this will be able to come across as long as that name's not been given. Unfortunately, because it's not a straight transfer over, some might have that name on PC. So as long as that name's free, you'll be able to have it. Otherwise, you might have to put uh, a new commander name in. 
arcs, we can't transfer the arcs balance over. That's before people start going mad at all, all of us, please understand that all of this is linked to, like it's not just an, an us thing, the arcs is currency and it's different platforms. There's lots of stuff behind the scenes that we can't discuss. There's legality, technicality, that, it's complex. Yeah, it's complex, yeah. but we do have options for players for that and it's on that, it should be in that post as well. And one of the other things obviously is the fleet carrier as well, which is, is in there. We can't move that fleet, fleet carrier ever for you, but there are obviously options for players as well. Yeah. We will go into those in more detail closer to, towards the transfer um, uh, process taking place. And obviously with that post going live now, we can take on board all of your questions you might have about this and like the ifs, buts and maybes you might have. And we'll get as many of those questions answered as soon as we can get them answered. But essentially, yes, we are going for a, a, a far bigger transfer of data than we've ever attempted before for, our, for the commanders and players that wish to transfer over. That transfer will happen as soon as we can make it viable to happen and we can, we can guarantee uh, you know, the, the, the process is secure enough for, to, to be able to do that. No, that does not mean that your console player then ceases to exist. You can still play, continue playing with your friends that mm -hmm. don't wish to transfer or can't transfer onto PC on console and those two profiles will, will work in, in tandem. They won't be able to cross over at any point. So it will be a one and done. So once you've transferred over, that will be it. So we're trying to do the most comprehensive transfer we've ever attempted for, for players. We're trying to make it for as many players as possible. Apologies that it's taken us this long to get this information out to you, but we have been badgering and harassing and they've been working so hard to make this a thing. So I hope that answers some of the, the questions regarding uh, console profile transfers. The other thing I want to add, is I see so many posts saying, oh, you're just going to switch off the console servers. It's not happening. You can carry on playing on console. I appreciate the news. I'm a console player. I appreciate the news regarding Odyssey's development is not what we wanted to hear. I appreciate that, but I understand it. It does not mean my game stops. I can continue playing. And obviously, if you transfer over, you can also still continue playing. Um, but we're not switching off the servers for, for console. So please, can we, can we, can we not say that? Because um, cool. it's, not, it's not factual. So a lot of you in the comments have already sort of come to sort of the savvy conclusion, which is obviously we said you can't transfer arcs, but we are transferring cosmetics. So part of the advice we're going to give yeah. in the full post, which we still recommend you read, is actually if you spend your arcs on cosmetics on your console profile ahead of the transfer, those cosmetics will then be on the PC version. Um, it's a similar deal with fleet carriers. So if you decommission it um, you ahead the of the transfer, yes, two weeks the, credits think, back, yeah. the credits will then be transfered um, in, you know, as, as an inclusion with everything else then be able to yeah. rebuy a fleet carrier. Um, that's sort of the long and short yeah. of it, but like we say, read the full thing for details. Um, and, just to, and just to be clear, if you, if you don't want to spend your arcs um, prior to the transfer and you transfer over, you can still buy cosmetics for your console account. Yes. That, that works. It's just we can't transfer that balance. So whatever you haven't spent will remain in your console account. It's not, it's not, they're not going. You still have their arcs. So we're not, we don't, don't want to feel forced either way to spend it. That's nothing that anyone wants to do. We just want to be open and say, look, can't transfer them. But if you do want cosmetics or stuff ready for... Uh, elite on, on PC or if you're going to pick up Odyssey, maybe there's something you want to buy for Odyssey in, in advance, you can do that and then that will transfer over with you. So there we go. Cool. Right. I think, did I cover everything off there? I think I, I, I did. I think that's about it. Yeah, just to reiterate, it's going to be a one-off process and we expect it's going to be a, a windowed, a time, there's going to be a time window to do it. <coughs> but we will, like I say, when it's announced, we'll be very clear about when yeah. it's happening, yeah. um, how long you have, and all of that. Yeah. Um, so keep an eye out for that later in the year, but we'll be shouting out about and it. And when. that time window will not be Mission Impossible style. You have no, 24 no. hours. <laughs> yeah. it won't, it you won't get an encoded message which will explode after it goes out. Like right. It will be like there'll be, a, I imagine, a multiple week window to be like, look, okay. here's what's happening. And we'll also probably tee that up and be like, the oh, transfer yeah. process is starting on X date, no, be yeah. ready, and then it will last for... Yeah. Amount of you days. won't be Indiana Jones sort of crawling under the closing cave entrance and then grabbing yeah. his hat. That still does, that still bugs me because he definitely wouldn't have got his hat. Anyways, <laughs> anyways. Okay, um, we'll move on to the next big. So that's for the console to PC. Now they're gonna tell us what's gonna come in 2022. It is something fantastic, something that has never done before. But more on that later bit of news then, um, which is what's happening in Elite for the remainder of the year in terms of updates. So we're going to show this little ditty on screen now and I'm going to talk through it. So this is also in the post that has gone live on the forums, so some of you will have seen this um, in the last few minutes. So these are the remaining updates that are coming. Um, we have update 12 next month, uh, this month, sorry. Um, then we've got update 13 in August and in November we'll have the last update of the year. Um, so within these three updates, our key focus really is going to be on stability. Um, that's still an important thing for us that we want to make sure everyone's having the, the best experience possible 
and obviously stability of the game is a really fundamental aspect of that. Um, and then we're also heavily investing in the narrative as well, um, which we sort of alluded to in some of our previous comms yep. in the year. Um, update 12, so the one coming this month, um, is also going to feature a new mission type and some optimization improvements. We understand that many of you have thankfully seen some really big frame rate um, increases, um, so hopefully that's going to continue uh, with these further optimizations. Um, and then there's going to be a little bit more of that as well in August, and that's when we're going to start seeding some narrative content as well. Um, and then November is sort of the big one, really. So narrative content, I see someone asking already what we mean by that. Um, particularly I'll, I'll take this bit. I'll take this bit. Oh, we'll carry on. Go on, on. No, 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 no. It's yours. OK, look, I've seen a lot of questions going through here saying, is this a roadmap? This is really just our focus. So this, what, we want, what, we, what I said right at the start of the stream when we talked about shifting our, our shows to, to uh, once every two weeks, and this, this is what we know is, uh, is a light framework for this year. So this is the, the, what we've got. So we can direct you to like expect when to sit, start hearing news around these sort of key moments. There is stuff in here. And I know people are like, where is X? Will we get extra content? There is stuff within this that I am not going to talk about. <laughs> the fact, and I, what I, I will talk about, so I can get myself in so much trouble. But I'm going to do it anyways, because I think you want to hear it. But yes, narrative is a massive focus for us this year. I will tell you something. We are working on, on something that has never been attempted before in Elite Dangerous, right? That's fact, right? And I can tell you that because I'm involved in it. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm not going to tell you how, what, what, but you will all experience it if you're in the narrative. Um, and that will come with extra stuff that you'll be able to engage with. It's going to be really, really cool. I can't spoil it and I can't put stuff on this about what's in it because it will ruin it for you. So that's the only downside of us focusing uh, on narrative. I actually think it's going to be a fantastic what well, well, we years are in now? Seven months we've got left, I think, something like that. It's, this yes. is going to be a really cool seven months. I think some of you are already tinfoil hatting some stuff and trying to put some stuff together. We are still focused on optimization. We are still looking to, to get this game running even, even, even better and, and, and faster than other machines. And yes, there is something we're, focused, we're looking at for early 2023, um, which we can't talk about right now, but we're doing some behind the scenes work. So to answer everybody out there who's asked this question and keeps saying it, no, Elite Dangerous is not dead. There's a lot of life in Elite Dangerous. I love the game, we all love the game, and we're gonna make this the most incredible end of this year as we can, and then start off in 2023 as we mean to go on. So that's all I've got to say really about that part. Sorry, Bruce, I just went off on a bit of a... No, that's totally fair, and you're right. I think the really big stuff is coming towards the end of the year, which is a fair comment. Um, and like I say, early 2023, key feature overhaul um, we've got there. Like I say, we'd love to say more about it, and when we can, we will. Um, but yeah, hold on to your seats because there is some huge stuff coming. Okay. Um. So that is for the live stream. So consoles, you can transfer it to PC. They will let us know when we'll be able to do that. Let me quickly show you what you can transfer. So this is what you can and cannot transfer to PC. You just go to the forums uh, on the news and bulletins. You will see this. So uh, ships, Hollow Me, Weapons, SRV and uh, SLFs can be transferred, including the Cobra MK4. If you have pre-ordered uh, Horizons in the time, you will have the MK4. Uh, core progression, inventory, reputation, Navy rank, permits, codex discoveries, engineering progress, Guardian Tech broker progress, uh, NPC uh, crew progress and cosmetics. So this is also nice. Uh, you don't have to buy everything over again. You, it will be transferred to your PC. Nice. What you can't is a commander's name, which is actually very strange. But if you're fast enough, you will just continue with your commander's name. Ax balance, they explained why it can be done, but it is what it is. Squadron membership, uh, front list, block list and private group also cannot be transferred, but well, then you make it again. Current mission progress, that is not important. This is actually strange. NPC, crew name and appearances. So they will keep their progress, but it's not going to be the same NPC. That's very strange. And then the fleet carrier, you can transfer it. But if you sell it on your console, uh, you get your credits. And once you're on the PC, you buy it again. So that is not a big problem. So that is what you can and cannot transfer to the PC version. And that's it for the live stream. Now, I was not watching to see if we can transfer the console to PC because I am already on PC. I wanted to know, and I guess a lot of other commanders, what is going to come in 2022. And we don't know anything more 
than before the stream started. Something is gonna come, but they can't talk about it. Something is gonna come. They have never done before in the game, but they can't talk about it. So whatever they are calling transparency and giving us explanation, I don't think that is how it is done. But that is my opinion. But for this video, that's it for this time, Commanders. See you the next time. Bye.